I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Tell Me Why. This game was made by the same creators as Life is Strange 1 and Life is Strange 2. Now, I played Life is Strange 1, and I love that game a lot. Life is Strange 2, I didn't complete it, and real ones know why. I just couldn't move forward with it. People seem to think that I was joking about being that mad about a particular thing that happened in the game, but no! I was really genuinely mad, and I never completed the game. But we are gonna move on to this game called Tell Me Why, as in Tell Me Why I've never heard of this game until you guys told me on Twitter that this game was a thing. It's a story about two twins going through some stuff. I don't really know all the details of it, but that's why we're gonna play it. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready! Ready and buckle up, cause here we go! Hey kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. A haircut that doesn't look very good. She had a gun. She, she, she must have not Thank liked the daughter. haircut. She freaked out. I... I... This kid's okay. like they've been eating ass. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... Oh, what the heck? So I stabbed her. Whoa! This I soon? My mother... Hasn't even been a minute in. We already get hit by the boom. I killed my mom. Okay. Chapter one, homecoming. Tell me why. Yeah, tell me why. Tell me why you had to stab her one time for the one time. Right off the bat, we just get a huge stinky stink bomb blasted on us. Eyes are pink from the red eye. And this is beautiful. This does look like Life is Strange type stuff. Fireweed Residential Center, November 2nd, 2015. So 10 years later, basically. And if any of this music is copyrighted, you know I'm gonna mute it and talk over it. I know you guys hate it when I talk over stuff, but I'm doing that today. Oh, this is definitely gonna be copyrighted music. Okay, guys, I'm talking over this. Allie, she's gonna be so awkward. Why? Dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking. A letter? Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey bro, just wanted to give my twin a shout before reuniting after 10 years of swank juvie is more like letter territory. Whatever. You'll thank me when we're 90 and the machines have taken over. And you still have something to read by candlelight. See? Always thinking ahead. Anyway, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing! I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you, so please try not to notice, okay? How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mentees? I bet they're going to miss you. I got my tires replaced, so I'm all good to pick you up. And you can save the snark when you see my ride. She's been through a lot, and we can't all be car guys. Anyway, the veggies let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for the sale and everything. Can't wait to never think about that place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Love you, Allison. I can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay. So this I'm is Juby? I'm done here. Bro, I want to go to Juby. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. Doper than my room. Yo, I'm definitely going to Juby. Look at the view Man, out here. I'm going to miss that view. I think I'm out of here, guys. I just I need to pack get this my started. goblin figurine. Oh. I wonder if Allison still has hers. Oh, this thing? Hey, little guy. This You're going to be value. reunited with your sister soon. Okay, okay, okay. Take it. New collectible, the Crafty Goblins. Uh, cool. You found the first game collectible. Totally you can browse them now. in the pause menu. Nah, I'm good. I'm good off that. Okay, so the twins are going to meet after 10 years. So we're assuming just from the little stuff that we read that he went to Juvie after he stabbed his mom and now he's getting out and then he's going to be meeting his sister. If you stab your mom, I don't think you're getting out after 10 years. I'm just saying. I don't care how young you are. 10 years? For stabbing and killing your mom? Wow, stop playing with me. Like, how much are you gonna get for stabbing your dad? Five? Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh. What do you want her to say? Sorry, I. It's fine, Allison. What do you want her to say? Hi is a good place to start. You want her to say, yo? God, it's good to see you. Was good, my G? Like, hi. That's, that's the normal greeting for anybody. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. 
One of my mentees designed it. That's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Um, the food, the people. Bro, I don't even know the people. Like, you and I were literally jumping into this the first time. I'm gonna say the food. They serve some good Chipotle. Hmm. Some good the Mexican. sweet taste of overcooked halibut. That too. But seriously, yeah, it was home. For a while, you know? Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm also really happy to never eat that halibut again. Hey, don't we plan to try to Delos Crossing or push? Halibuts have feelings too. welcome to walk. Okay? Nah, I'll take I'm watching you, Tyler. Got my eyes on one you. One last look or anything? Just the halibut again, we're gonna have some problems. Looked. Let's go. Tyler talking about halibut. You know? How about you stop it? Halibut, you stop that. You know what I mean? Wow, I'm firing the dad jokes left and right, like shotgun style, like Ch -ch -ch. dad joke, dad joke, dad joke, Ch -ch -ch. dad, 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 dad joke. Well, so far my impressions of this are. <sighs> no, really. That's my I review, and I'm sticking to not it. Not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. No way. What the heck? <laughs> the in the back of the delivery truck, so they opened it up. And the bear was the bear. I was just trying to be dumb, but that was actually the dialogue. <laughs> you go where the food is. Huh. Are they driving on like the that? lake? What kind of car do you have? So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they could... Look, it looks like they're driving on the ice them. pond or something. Oh, poor buddy. What in the world? Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, Wait, who's well, getting shot in whose ass? You know what they say. Hold up. Safety first <laughs> Hold in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even Whoa. bringing back hibernation. Tyler's hunting. cool. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I don't know. That's one of the I'm mysteries not of the world. Hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. And they really were on what? the pond. Why are you smiling? I'm being okay. serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. <sighs> I can't believe you got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. So I'm assuming that they're going back to the town where Tyler stabbed his mom. So that's why they're going back right now. Because maybe Tyler went to Juvie what about you? in a different county or a different city. Allison? Well, Answer him. Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. I do like that I can move the camera around. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Yikes. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look. I put a fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. You know, one thing that I don't like. I'm guessing in things haven't like changed this, much. Is you when people Dallas? talk about stuff Still we clearly don't give a damn Jesus about. Nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Left shift to reply? Small town life? That bad? Was is it really that, that bad? bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Who is good. Michael? Good, good. 
Uh, but I haven't Unless seen him Unless it's Jackson, work I don't give a damn. He's busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Clan? What you talking about? Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Where? Uh, yeah, it is. Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. Catch me dead in a haunted house. I wouldn't Ugh. take two steps in a haunted house. house I wouldn't even look at a haunted house from 500 feet away. Huge oh, God. eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Talk about you that way. Talk about you both Probably. behind your back. I'm literally talking about both of them behind their back. Like, I'm right behind them. POV, you're me, and they're them. I'm literally talking behind their back. Okay, so what I was gonna say was, I think this is one of those games where it starts off really slow, just to throw all the information at you, which a lot of games and stories do. They're just like, info, 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 backstory, take this, take that. And then once you get to know these characters really quick, then it's gonna start to get really good. Spit it out. So I think that this is gonna be one of those games. And I hope I'm right. Cause I want this game to be good. But yeah, I gotta be honest when something's not really, you know, interesting me, I'm just like. It's a gift from Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but. I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't. And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Damn. fireweed administration backed him up, Tyler. All that they thought it makes was me want to call for both of us. <coughs> yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. A ring was a peace offering? Please. The hell kind me? of peace offering is that? Give me a million you dollars for a peace offering. Maybe I'll consider it. Ass trinket. Let me spend it first, then it's I'll think a gift, about it. Tyler. You know what gift giving means in Clinket culture. Tling and what it? it means to refuse one. What's telling it? Fine, I can't accept this. I don't care. Fine. I want Tyler to be just, you know, the forgiving type. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you. Yeah. Not Chief This Brown. was for you. You know, you could call him Eddie. Or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. Stepdad? Step bro? Okay, so the stepdad was the one who actually arrested him for killing the mom. I mean, that's pretty fair, right? If somebody killed your wife, Did you arresting that? someone is like the nicest thing you could do. You know, somebody would have got their ass beat at the very least. That's being nice about it. Is this one of those Life is Strange things where they have powers? Whoa. I would shit my pants if I no saw that. Like home. Yeah. Some freaking whale just jumped out, did a backflip while I'm on a boat. Bro, there would, would have been brown skin marks all over my underwear. Home. Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. I'm that kind of Thanks. person. I always say sorry. I say sorry when I say sorry. I'm the sorry guy. Like, somebody will so actually bump into me and I'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, what the? Who's this guy? Bro, looking like a straight up bulldog. Morning. Hello. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go. Rawr, 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 rawr. Uh, I love it. I don't think I could ever get tired of this. Agreed. Are you looking at me like that? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. Look at the way he's looking at me. You from around here? Bro, you trying to kiss me or something? Uh, born and bred. Yeah. Born and bred. Speaking of breed, uh, what kind of breed are you? I have moved to you really look like a canine. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Clink it, I haven't been home in five years. My sister wants to move. You visiting family? Oh, uh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Doesn't everybody right. get old? I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin, no relation. Huh? To George They really Gershwin. look like they're about to kiss. Um, Gershwin, the pianist. I'm trying to get close. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to hit it off the path. Yes, oh. me, George. Uh, or Alexander, my bad. Your name name's was? Alexander. My name is Tyler. And just call me Tyler. 
Just call me Tyler. I'm not even gonna right. look at him anymore. Good to meet you, Tyler. Just call me Tyler. Likewise, bro. sir. All right, I'm out of here. I mean, he understands what that means. We really have to do this whole boat ride, guys. There ain't no loading screens in this game. Don't not entertainment doesn't believe in loading screens. We're literally taking the boat from point A to point B. Oh my God, we could go in the car the whole time. Leave? Oh. So I could have just left the whole time instead of taking the boat and watching it go. Oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind, guys. I really feel like I'm losing my mind. But I think this game is going to get way better once they go back to the house where Tyler stabbed his mom. That is weird for me to say out loud. Just like casually saying that somebody stabbed their mom. It's basically exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. Yep. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. Start what? The only way to get this done is to do it. Wait, what does that mean? What does that mean? What are we doing? Are we doing some kind after of seance? You? Wait, after me? What's happening? Hold on, I'm not comfortable with this. This is the house where mom was killed. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. I know. It said I could look and I'm just looking. Calm down! Man! It's not even opening. Where's the freaking key? Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. After you, she said. The door's right there, she said. Did you smoke you sure before right you came key? here, she said. And she had the key the whole time. Yes. Swear. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. Eddie. We're screwed. Or whatever. The you got a plan B? Was. The one who gave him the ring. Yeah. We find another way in. The window. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had huh. a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's got to work. Okay, you know what? I'm calling it. We're going in through the back. Watch. That's the most obvious choice. If I'm wrong, I owe every Crafty single goblins. person watching this an apology. I haven't thought about them in forever. Unless there's a window open I on the side. Us. But I'm pretty we sure that's right there. Time we almost spent more time as goblins. Thank God I can run too. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. What's a Waste not or kiss the planet goodbye. Oh, we, we can, can go in that? from the ground. No, it should Ninja be fine. Ninja Turtle style. Just get this board out of the way. I could probably squeeze through. I bet you there's a so rat under there. To pry it off. It's gonna be a big rat ta 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 ta. Rat ta 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 ta. Screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Okay. So that's the way we're gonna get in. And I think I know where to go. So let me run over to this shed. Wait, what's this? I can't believe these are still here. Yeah. We should oh, hide them look like so my they balls. don't frighten away potential buyers. Let me in here. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, hey, baby girl, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. Please, 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 please. Damn! Hey, it's locked, all right. Bro, they lock everything. They do it like that in Alaska? Like, they really about that locking life? Okay. Should be right something there, in here right that'll the table. Work. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I, um... What, you see drugs? something strange. Huh? Hold to focus on your bond? What the... I'm 
don't leave this Whoa. room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. <laughs> oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess. Is not she seeing tricks. what he's saying? Whatever. Seen? You're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa. Did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? Does that really happen with twins? I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. Are they and, really about uh, that life? That's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why know, that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. Pretty spooky. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. So where did you guys put that key? That's the big question here. I'm feeling something again. Near where? the barn. Yeah, the barn. me too. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Remember. Please remember. Hurry, let's go see the silent frog. Coming, I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already, I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay, guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. Yeah, what? show me the treasure no, room. I want to see. Show me it. Hopefully it's too cold to blow. Treasure room? I guess we room? know where to search now. We just oh. Know which one is the silent frog. One of these? Frog. I'm going to say middle guy. So. Which one of you? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Oh, I was Get right! Oh, key was on. under his ass! <laughs> okay, Bro, one okay, take, Jay's sorry. in the building. Hey, Nice yeah. job keeping a secret, buddy. Okay. Is it this one? No, it's gotta be the door. Get me in here. Open sesame. I still would have taken two gold to bloods. Okay, so we just need to unscrew with this screwdriver. And bada bing bada boom, got we it. in the house, baby. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Take? I'll take this. What is this, Girl Scout cookies? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks you brand new. that in your ass? It wasn't me. What's up with video game characters just shoving things recently? up their butt? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Okay, come on, sis. Let's go. Remember! The Remember Twins go! What is that other thing that I have? Bird food? I think it's bird food. It looked like the outline of a bird on there. Bet you there's some dude living in here. Or somebody's dead. I kind of want somebody to be dead under there. But not the mom, though. Ooh. Okay. My bad. Lifting weights in juvie. Are you sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Who lives down there? That's somebody's door now. Like, we're invading somebody's house outside of the house. Everything okay down there? Tyler? Oh! oh! Mother. Oh, that's not okay, funny! Okay, I don't know why that scared me too. <laughs> then why am but I, I just took a fat L on my forehead. Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. Alright. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Okay, so we're definitely taking control of Tyler. In the beginning, we took control of Allison for like two minutes. But this is Tyler's story. So I just wanted to know who we were going to control. Are you okay? What happened? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Oh, that's trippy. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. So they can talk to each other without uh, even straight talking. Ahead. Straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. Wait, I see the goblins. The great value Yodas. Then left again after the goblins. Oh, cool. Read. We are the crafty goblins. Yes, we are. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. 
Goblin Den treasure room. This is the treasure room. Sweet. Wait, that was our treasure? It's just trash. I found our old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Pink, it always had to be pink. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. Never. Never! Okay, let's get in. Let's stop the shenanigans. Pass the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, Beware I almost convinced myself our voice is just another child of fantasy. Mad Hunter. Me too. Oh, that better not we be really a thing. Are connected. That better not be a thing. That dude looks scary as hell. Get me up here. Get, get me up here. This tastes gross after you brush your teeth and then you drink this. Oh. 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 Ugh. Ugh. Oh, this is cute. This is nice. Is that mom? She kind of bad though. I ain't even gonna lie, she kind of bad though. I mean, she is kind of dead though, but she was kind of bad though. I'm sorry guys, I'm super awkward. I'm the most awkward guy. Like, if somebody asks you, who's the most awkward person you know? <laughs> Be like, Jay. That dude. That dude. He's so awkward. He's so silly. Tyler, are you in there? What do you think? Oh, he has the urge to kill again. I see that look in his eyes. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. I mean, real talk, a traumatic experience did happen in here. So, I don't think I would be able to go in. Well, we're here. It would probably just make me anxious. Here we are. Like, I'd probably have, like, a panic attack or something. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Yeah, like, sometimes I'll, like, see a picture or remember an event or hear a song and it takes me back to, a like, an experience that I had. Sometimes it's not good. And then, you know, my breathing will be all messed up. I'll be like... <sighs> So, I can't even imagine going to a house where your mom was killed. What's this? Machine repair, Sam K, Robert Brooks, Tessa. Okay, maybe that might be important later. All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine. Broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne yeah. thought dryers were straight up evil. Marianne's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely Who's Marianne? A crate. Who in the Holy Maza Afuk is Marianne? Ooh, this place needs some serious cleaning. Or an exorcist. How long has nobody been here? Hey mom, we are sorry the vase got broke. We didn't know you love it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time we will try and use good judgment. <laughs> Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I will tell Ollie not to be wild all the time. We aren't going to do it anymore. We are sorry. What are you reading? Nothing. Our apology letter. A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. She pinched every penny. Nothing wrong with that. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. We were, in a way. <laughs> we were, just not like she thought. You think she knew we were sharing answers? We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. Wait, is this a one-story house? Wait, I think I can remember. 
Why is my screen looking like that? Look, can I remember something? I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. With Why is my screen sparkling like that? Yeah. Like I'm all fancy. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, oh, that's why it was so nice. No, hey, Marianne. What the? Hey, move! Bumping into me like that? Uh -huh. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up and all chill, night baby telling girl. stories. And watching the fire die. Fight you. And Marianne was none the wiser. Look, that's what that dude on the boat looked like. That dog right there? Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi's store, right? Yeah, you'd slide the quarters inside on yeah, the little tray, flex. and then magic, out pops no the flexing. sticker. I'm not flexing, I Best swear. mom. You think we ever really believed that, or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. Best mom sponsorized by the local goblins? Why do you guys call yourself goblins? Oh, it is two stories. Okay, didn't look like that from the outside. If you don't come up soon, I'm gonna take whatever I want from our bedroom. No way, wait for me. Wait, where's the place where now mom this, was killed? This feels like home. Just trying to see, just wanna see. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Hello, Allison and Ollie. Wow. We are writing from the past. What is it like in the future? Are. Anyway, so Juno is super cool. Yeah. We took the tramway all the way up. Ollie was scared. Liar! We got some books, but Mommy went to the restaurant at night and forgot them. It was cool. There were a lot of whales on the ferry. No, there wasn't. They were in the water, stupid. Anyway, here's a postcard to remind you how awesome we are, especially me. A and O, Allison and Ollie Ronan. 12 Canary Road. Shh. I don't really give Tyler, a damn where do you you copy? Going. If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? Shh, copy, Allison. <laughs> Gonna get this thing moving soon. <laughs> don't like, want what? the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. <laughs> the Mad Hunter. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? Press it was in that the chest the whole time. All these stories. I had ideas Whoa. for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Oh, you yeah. gotta be kidding me it's if you think I'm reading all this. Oh, you piece. psychopath if you think I'm reading all this. Uh, Get out of here. Where is it? You looking for something in particular? Are you trying to read no Harry Potter novels in you a never game? told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra Way hard to much. keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Yo, back up. Okay, so when it sparkles like this, that's when we can remember. I have to hold space bar first. Okay. So I'm gonna remember that Mom? for any future time that happens. Mom! Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? What now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, Are didn't we not going to see the mom's You face? had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. Huh. <sighs> I don't know how I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me to keep me from transitioning. Oh, wow. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. All right, well, let's go get it. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? Now, now. That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. 
So you the mom didn't like that Ollie was. or Tyler wanted to, to transition. To Wait, I can remember something? I know, but we'll have to eventually. And I the mom was willing back. to do anything that she could to prevent that from happening. So maybe that's why Tyler stabbed Finally her? Caught the hag. His furious but maybe he didn't stab her at all. Forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally There's bound gotta be something to the deeper lake. than this. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. I've never actually had a journal or a diary, but it would have been cool now that I think back at it. To see where my head was at when I was younger, to see like what my mindset was, it would have been really cool to read back on things that I thought of as a kid. But, you know, I never thought to write stuff down like that. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good okay, hard shot won't take care of. To open I mean, a door? Yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it. Right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not okay, to. Okay, that makes sense. So they're selling the we house the and they want to clean it up and take all the stuff that they had in the past yep. before they sell the house. Hand it over. This 500 page essay, for? we gotta look through that the image on the to door. solve this riddle. It's making me think of a story from the book, one that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. Why can't you just tell me? First if you were really memories, a good sister, you would just tell story me. storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. Okay, well, I guess we gotta solve this puzzle then. Once upon a time in a deep and cold lake near the ancient forest, there lived an old seal who was a powerful witch. Okay, let's see. Old seal that was a powerful witch. Is there a seal here? It's a bear. It's a frog. Wait, that's a bear. So what the hell was that thing? Like a sea otter? A beaver? One night, she awoke to see a black and hooded silhouette clawing to reach a beautiful gown full of stone. The human had delved far deeper into the lake than any land dweller should have been able to go. His tenacity and ferociousness impressed the moon hag, and she decided he would be wasted in her statuary of corpses. She used her magic to unspell him, allowing him to breathe underwater, but also binding him to her service. You, she said will be the instrument of my release and revenge. For you and I together will kill the Ice King. The Moon Hag had never heard of the Mad Hunter, and she did not know the power he wielded. She could only tell he was a hunter, and her lust for revenge blinded her to the threat he posed. She gifted him a hand of ice, which was not as nimble as a hand of flesh, but allowed him to serve her better than no hand at all. And I could actually read it just like this. I am so stupid. As they crept back into the woods, the stalwart moose was once again waiting for them. Are you going to tell me the old bear said you could have that? Yes, replied the goblin. Old bear ampled up at the moment and Moose asked him, did you leave that for the fish or the goblins? You know what? I think I know what to do. So um, let's put the moose in the middle right there. And then let's have the bear right here. And then this one's the frog, please. Uh, I think I'm just going to force this open. No, you never sure? mind. We're not in a rush. Okay, 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 we'll okay, okay, okay. It. Okay, my bad. I'll, I'll figure it out. You know what? I think the moose is actually number one. And then, is it this? No, the bear should be number two. And then one of them is number three. <gasps> yes! Give me some! Give me some! I am the puzzle solving king! I am the master! Ooh, this is creepy. I'm still the master though, don't you forget it. And boom, Ever forget it. 
we're in. I already knew it was like moose, bear, and then something else. So it was moose first, then bear, then whatever. This is creepy. Like having that on, knowing that that's your dead mom's room. That's super creepy. After so many years, I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Huh. Why do I feel like you're not going to let me forget that? Because that's what winners do. We rub it in each other's faces. Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Where would I stash somebody's personal thoughts? I think that I would do it under the bed. She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why Nothing this wrong picture, with that. though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? Hey, you guys got a little so attitude. she was standing here, spying through the window, drawing us while we played. She always had her eye on us. My entire body. Oh. Oh, shit, my this bad. This explains a lot. They're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. She was too stubborn to take medication. Okay. So we're getting to know the mom a little bit more. Let's remember. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Huh? They used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. Yeah, I can't we imagine Tyler stabbing his mom. Seeing her like this. I don't think it was him. As if she's still here. It's... There's got to be some kind of twist. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? Yeah. Um, can I examine that? This story is starting to get interesting. And I knew it would. Oh, I just... Okay. I wanted to examine that a little bit. The Wise Princess. Okay, but yeah, this story is getting interesting. So I'm getting into it now. Ugh. Sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. I'm sure she needed the help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix a torn suit. She was a damn good artist, too. Straight in the trash? No. I bet we it could sell it on the, the internet. It the trash! True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. <laughs> I like that. I mean, I would have hang it up, but I like it. What is this? Why is this turned down? She and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly, they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. Huh. Alright. Where would you keep a diary, guys? In here? The most generic cliche spot? Boy? It's here. I knew it. Right there I on the top it. one, too? Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Raising your transgender child. So she did care. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp presented by the Alliance of Traditional Families. Huh. So was the mom actually trying to... Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. What? Look. Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. 
Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Tell me about it. The world don't make no sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I just want to know how she died. I think I need some air. Hopefully we can figure that out this episode. Somebody out there? What is that? Oh! Not go in there. God. Especially during a storm? And that thing's banging like that? Okay, Want some bang bros type banging? Yeah. Bro, she Mom? loading up the Yo! Run, my G! This is wrong. This is all wrong. Wait! Oh, stop! Oh, God, hell no. That look in her eyes. She was definitely not herself. Like, what was that medicine supposed to do? Was it supposed to calm her down? Like, did she have some kind of illness? She was just loading up a gun for no reason. Like, who was she trying to kill? Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, that was definitely a time she wasn't trying. She all never. Of this stuff was kind of foreign. It doesn't make sense. I know. You know, it's either you, you accepted it off the bat, or off, you right? were still trying to learn, or Allison, you didn't accept it. She read my diary. She already knew. That was a long time. It ago. wasn't my hair, and if we were wrong about that. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question you guys now? You are wrong. You mean I'm other sure than not having to the live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. So that was the night that she died? That exact night? Maybe Tessa has answers? Yeah. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway. To get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. Why rush the house sale? Is something wrong? Yeah. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. 
sell this place as quick as possible and move on. It's important to me. That book changed everything. And then we found the book, and yeah, things changed. Yeah, kind of just like we everything you turned really don't upside get down that. on its head. It's just with the way you avoided this place the way for the we last thought things three years, weren't exactly I thought you wouldn't thought. want to spend any extra time here. Oh, so that's what this is about. Maybe a little, yeah. It's just this is an amazing view, though. You graduated three like years this? ago, and this is the first time we've seen each other in person. Guess I'll choose that. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Stop making it about you. Yeah. It was about me. Imagine how not hard it you. was for Tyler. And making it about you is really not cool. I guess that Seriously? choice influenced the That's outcome it? of the story. Seriously. Okay then. Uh, we have a plan. So we have a plan. Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. Got it. All right. Deal. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Let's go. Seems we got a trespasser. <laughs> what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Who the property? hell is this five, Billy Hill? Four. I'm Tyler. No know any Tylers. Three. I don't know any Sam's. Two. You don't Sam. see me pulling my gun out. Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Who are you? Brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never. Damn. You look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. I am a man. Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. Guess I'm the asshole again. You gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Oh, come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. Exactly. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it, because we aren't going anywhere. Wait, why is this guy here? So, what are you doing here exactly? He just walks in here with a oh, gun? Oh, uh, yeah. I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, you know, all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How Wait, she never had a man intimate. around. I thought she had a Nothing. guy. Thanks. The cop guy, uh, yeah. right? Guess you two are still aiming to sell the place. That's the, the one plan. who arrested Tyler. Which, by the way, we need. She wasn't keys. with that guy. Since apparently you maybe I'm just misremembering something. Oh yeah. I need absolutely. that remembering power, but, so I need uh, some kind of twin. Selling your mother's house. Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Why is that guy got an attitude on his face? Um, no one asked you. Yeah, get out of my face. Coming Funny. in here talking all Don't rude. Don't remember asking for your opinion gun on the in my guy's face. Tyler. What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Yeah. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too.
Were you too close? Uh, hold to speak using your voice. Uh, oh, okay, so we can talk between us. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Whoops. Um, I have more questions. So we can talk to each other with our minds. How well did you know her? <sighs> Not as well as I thought. Well, I heard what happened that night. Well, I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. <sighs> Not me. Okay, what about the puzzle on the door? Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, yeah, I that guess. That puzzle's easy as shit, my dude. Uh, never solved it myself. <laughs> I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh... <clears throat> so, what? Uh, guess you know all this your mom's so secrets sus. now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. Let's get out of here. Come on. We're leaving now. This is kind of uh, like Beyond Two Souls. You've got a supply run to make in. But the other person Uncle can Eddie's talk. Uncle expecting a visit. Like, the other so. people are, like, oh, right. both alive. Yeah, of course. And uh, one's not a spirit. Get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all gotta get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, He's like, uh, lots of normally to do I sleep here. Sam's list. <laughs> I got nowhere else to go. And you don't want to keep my gun waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, I got nothing better to do. Not even going cap. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? There's some detail in his hat, though. He got sweat stains all over his hat. It's pretty interesting. I like the detail. Sam? See? You guys see those huh? sweat stains? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh, Dude, it's so weird. Uh, hey, somebody take this man's this gun place, off his hands. It meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her. And Get your like some hot her alcohol breath. Still. Out Allison's face, my G. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Okay. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. I think that... The mom is like completely misunderstood here, and we're gonna figure that out. Maybe in not this episode, because I think this game comes out in episodes. So I think that she's misunderstood, and she's writing about that demon in that book. I think maybe she was seeing some kind of demon, and maybe she was trying to kill that. I'm just trying to like figure this all out of my head. I might be completely wrong, because I usually miss a lot of the things that I'm trying to explain. Ready to any VD so maybe I'm like completely off the mark. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll see. Tell me what you guys think so far. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Oh, so we're playing as the girl now. Okay. That's Michael? Oh, that guy? That's the guy she tells you not to worry about? Okay. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep. We're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. <sighs> I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Tyler hey, wants to kill again! Efficiency. You fiend! Can't wait for us to get out of here. <laughs> that was way What's too that? easy of a slam. That was unbelievable. Maybe gonna be roommates he wants to move to? Let's just say he wants to move to. 
Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. You used to go trying. there all the cool. time? Most guys I know get all Smeagol well, about you their in fishing Juby? spots. <laughs> For ten years? <laughs> oh, look at you two. Maybe Bonding I'm missing over something. the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. So that was actually one of our objectives in the game. Introduce Tyler to Michael. That's the kind of game this is. Gotta introduce people, that's your objective. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less, we've been working out at the, the old killer. house. I'm calling it! He just got surprise. killer vibes! After ten years of setting empty, variety. it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It He's a killer. It must be nice to be home. He got the look down. Uh, the hair. I'm not sure the nice is the word The glasses, for it. the voice. Oh, of course. See? I assume being there feels He has that complicated. killer vibe. Tell me I'm wrong. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. Yeah, he's uh, I'll running be for here if you need anything. In this game. Oh, hey, sure is Tessa around shit. today? He's done and seen um, some the shit. wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay. I don't know how I feel so about switching between candles characters. and an all-purpose cleaner. Kind of just want to play as Tyler. Like if this is Tyler's story, I just want to play as Tyler. But it's the twin story. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever. Grape soda, it is. I <laughs> didn't even give him a chance to answer. What the? Look, she literally shoved that in her ass. You saw where she put that soda, right? Guys, I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm really not. Any opinion on cleaning products? Watch. Watch where she puts this. Okay? Watch this. Watch this. Watch. Look. Organic's better. Look, 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 look. She put that in her ass! Bro, I can't make this up. Okay, let's get the stuff we need and let's get out of here. Hey, Tyler. Candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Okay, we're taking the candy. Look, look where she puts that. Look where she puts that! Literally in her Let's ass. See. Don't tell me she's putting it in her back pinnies, pocket. Triple you guys are lying right to me. Plain candles are fine. Yeah, come on. Ooh, damn. Okay. But that I one think was we're a done toughie. here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Okay, I know that. You act like I've never been shopping before. Quiet, juvie boy. You're the one who's been in prison for a while. Calm it down. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Bro, all that was like two quarters? Oh, hi, Tessa. What we were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. Yeah, we want some answers, Tessa. You're the only person we want who some might know Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. Oh, it's we been know a about decade, that. kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. 
She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this yeah, was about we knew Tyler. She was, private. She was always that willing to ask for help. Three-piece puzzle when it on came the door. Us. Who does that? Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't. That's what I'm really curious about. What like happened that, that night? But it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like everybody knows a secret about the mom that they're not telling. Wait, I can't leave? Okay, why not? Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's business? How's the campaign? Tessa looks on edge. Bye! <laughs> Tessa looks on edge! How's Tessa today? She looked a bit overloaded earlier. She's right she's there. She can hear us talking that shit. Yeah, ever since I started campaigning, she's picked up the slack around here. Uh, she's practically running the place. I hate to break it to you, but she always kind of has run the place. Ooh. Well, now that's a matter of opinion. Okay, we'll talk later. You're kind of boring okay. me, bud. I'll talk to you later. What's my objective? Let me see. Investigate the uncovered memories. Sure. Okay, let's go. I'll follow you, bruh. We're going back here? Oh, we got some memories back here. Okay, okay, okay. How do you know memories are back here? That doesn't even make any sense. How are there memories back here? Follow hey guys, the memories. You all done yet? Yeah, mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in so a bit of a hurry. So we get to eavesdrop on a conversation oh, that we have no time. memory of. So how do you remember Emergency that? repairs for the beaver dam. Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Like, I thought we could I'm just remember stuff that we deaths. experienced. Not that things that we had no part of. Huh. Oh, okay, I'd never mind. I've completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Okay, let's do it. Let's remember. Uh, Mom? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. What? Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Talk about what? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is Choose which memory you want to remember. Choose I want to Allison's to memory? Now. Tessa was angry. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. Well... No, Tessa was. She went Choose Tyler's debt. memory. Let's just Marianne talk was angry. Minutes. Oh. Okay, I feel like this is a big choice right here. Okay. Wait, what's this one? Oh, wait. That's not a memory? Okay. Which one do you guys think is more reasonable? I want to talk. Hmm. You hearing this? Hmm. Marianne was looking for a fight. Which is it going to be? You know what? I think... Now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? I think Tessa was angry. I want to talk to you. Now. Sorry, Tyler. do Tyler. I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord defends those he loves. You're failing these kids, Marianne. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you... My God. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. 
Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside, okay? That sounds more reasonable to me. What is wrong? What do you guys think? Tyler better not be mad just because we didn't go with his memory. I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Yeah. Let's see who really was mad that day. So, I guess I was right. They can only remember what they were a part of. They couldn't just, like, see memories that they had no hand in. So, it's time to talk. Whoa! Is time there to something talk, I Tessa. can do for you? What are you up to? Your fight with Marianne, a.k.a. my mother, Earlier baby. you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear Tyler it. Looks gangster. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. That's it? I think she knows more than she's letting on. That was such a waste of time. But duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. That's a pretty good point. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. I mean, we kind of heard a little snippet of it. But you know what? I guess we're going to talk to Tom to make sure we got our facts straight. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's the campaign going? Remember that one song? Yeah, that one song on that one day with that one beat? Get out of here with that. This might be a weird question, but... Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. This better not be copyrighted. If it is, I'm muting the hell out of this. This sounds copyrighted. I smell the stink on it. Like, I smell the claim on it right now. Can we just look in here? I mean, I know Tessa's just right here, but I don't mind going in the back. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just Where is it? looking for something that I forgot. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? That's nothing. There you go, Marianne. No show. It looks like Marianne. April fifty dollars for gas paid off. October May thirty seven dollars for groceries plus thirty eight dollars for a new jacket for Allison. June twenty one dollars for medicine. August forty dollars for groceries. October one forty for washing machine repairs. November fifty five dollars for new shoes for kids. Check bounced. December no show. January no show. Okay, so she had some debts. That's why Marianne was mad. So I was What's right. What's doing here? I don't know, but I'm taking it. Yoink! Okay, so let's confront her. Ain't nothing tool but to do it. We're some investigators in this bitch. All right, Tessa, you got some splaining to do. We're back with details that should help your memory. Mm. Oh, really? Yes, really. Time to lay down We were buying facts. groceries, and then you, you stormed in, threatening to call in debts and demanding that Marianne talk to you. It turned into an argument. So you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Call in debts. I never. Like I'm some kind of loan shark. When did this supposedly occur? 
Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. <laughs> I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. There's like a details. book of debts that's right in the locker. Um, August 2004. August 2004. That's when she stopped paying off her debts to you, right? August? No, that doesn't sound right. I distinctly remember her helping during the summer rush. I'm sure we never fought about money, though. What? I was always forgiving with your mother. I could see how she was struggling. Yeah, and you loved lording it over her, didn't you? Allison. Excuse me? Young lady, I help others because it's the right thing to do. You all would have starved August? if it weren't for me. And we're grateful for that. It's just an emotional subject for us, right, Allison? Yeah. I never said you two were arguing about money. You pushed gay conversion. You were mad. She bailed on you. You said she was failing us. You said she was failing us and called her a bad parent. Was she done being judged by you? Was that it? I really have no idea what you're talking about, and I was never cruel to Marianne. I did everything I could to help her, to help you all. Even when she fought me, even when she screamed and spit in my face for the effort, even when she, even when she didn't deserve it. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Calm down. Look, we know you took care of us, and we're grateful, but... I really need you to answer one question. When you two fought, was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No, and I think you should go now. I mean, Tessa, she lied about every single thing that she I'm just said. So what was Marianne the point of doing all this? Because of who I am. Do you get that? I do, I just... Then why won't you give us a straight answer? Seriously. <laughs> I truly don't know. I feel know like I just wasted all my time that. doing that. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. Now I understand that this is an emotional topic for you both, and fortunately for you, I keep forgiveness at the heart of my relationships. If you're so fucking righteous, Ooh. why did you dump Marianne when she was at her Dropping worst? The F -bomb? I will not That's be dragged words. back into this. You need to go now. Can we have our groceries? Ah. Uh. Um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Cool. Bye, Tom. So I got no answers out of that. That was completely pointless. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. So either that I did that wrong, you know, or she's we hiding something. Actually, gotten to the truth if you hadn't lashed out at her. Oh, are you serious right now? You were on her case the whole time. Well, Don't do turn this on me. It's obvious she's guilty of something, and that's why she doesn't want to talk about it. Oh, that sanctimonious bitch! Done now? You get all that out of your system? <sighs> Sorry, I got so worked up. It just makes me crazy that she would play dumb like that. She knows how important this is to us. To you. Yeah, but okay, you know, maybe you're onto we something did do the right guilt. thing, guys. She didn't want to admit that. what they thought about. Which makes me think it was me. I mean, we're all going on this journey. We're all trying to figure program. this out. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over I the edge. So you may be right. Yeah. Because she how many times are we educated Allison. about this in school? She was still crazy. Like especially Marianne, people from the older generations. She saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years, and now it's gone. Like, that's why I'm proud of, like, this new generation that's coming up. Because they want everyone really to be accepted to for who they are. In the older generations, but it wasn't so kind. Like, you would get bullied for that, you would get killed for that, all these things would happen to you if you weren't what society wanted you to be. But now, the new generation coming up, oh, we want to normalize grateful. everything, and I really like that. I really have a lot of respect for the younger generation because they want people to really be equal and for people to oh, be cool with that and accepting that. Expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. I guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. So now we're gonna see that cop that gave Tyler that ring. That's who I thought the mom was banging. I thought that she was with that guy because Tyler said your stepdad to Allison, meaning like that was the guy that Marianne was with. 
But I guess not. I'm still trying to figure this all out. Maybe the whole town was this against kind of Tyler. It's usually more. That's what crowded, I'm starting to think now. But the other officers punch And Marianne was trying so hard to be accepting of it. <laughs> There's no crime after six. But everybody in the town the was just trying crossing? to just make her not accept it. And that drove her crazy, maybe. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle and she them was on his own. Just went crazy. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office. That's upstairs. what I'm starting to think now. Maybe this whole small Alaskan town was so against Tyler that they were trying to convince Damn. the mom to not they let it happen. Still got this creepy mascot, huh? It's a local hero. This thing? What? This beaver? Officer Justin Beaver is not Justin creepy. Beaver. He's Stellar Crossing's longest-serving officer. Come on, dog. Anything but home. that. You spent a a believer. Here, yeah, whenever Eddie was working. Beaver the, the whole believer. precinct's basically family. Oh, we can remember something. Where? Where, 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 where? Help me remember. Help me! Hold on. Remember the vending machine? Bro, I'm trying really hard to remember, but I don't see where I can remember at. Oh, remember here. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Yeah. I thought you were still here. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. So this is where they were keeping Tyler the night that the mom died. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Stepdad? You in here? Something's in the way. Something's in the way? Wait, how tall are you? How tall are you? What is that? Like five... What are you, like 5'10"? Five 5'11"? Five okay. Where is Mr. Officer? That's locked. I didn't know we could just walk into a police station. My bad. What do you know? If I would just locked. walk into a police station, I'd be arrested. Because they'd be like, hey, this dude's sus. Just walking in here like mm. that. Eddie must Red headphones, backwards hat. Walking like a shit don't stink. Where's my dude? Tyler, what are you doing? Actually, I don't want to talk to you. Let's go upstairs. Let's find Mr. Michael, Officer Michael. Actually, his Tyler, name's not even Michael. You coming? What's his name again? Armory. There you go, Chief Edward Brown. That's his name. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. He's trying to get a gun? Chill, Tyler, chill. He's trying to get a bulletproof vest, maybe a couple AKs. Trying to go scratata. Yes, just phase through the door this way. So something's you know, blocking the door, huh? I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. <sighs> something's in the way. Now that's pretty weird that something's in the way of a door. There must be... Ooh, another memory here. Where, 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 where? Show me, show me. Okay. Hold on, where's the Let's memory? Move! You know what? Forget it, forget it! God damn it! Oh, Allison, you gotta be kidding me. How about that coffee we were talking about? I can't get out! I'm trying to get that coffee we're talking about, but I can't get out! Oh my... Bruh! Oh, God, thank you. Holy crap, that was annoying. Is this the break room? This is not the break room. This is the locker room. League standing, Arctic puppies, mushers, little helpers. That's cute. Ugh, That's real let freaking this place cute. get gross. I'm not that hungry. Those cookies don't look that bad. Chill. Diva? How is this still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? Coffee You'll be up all good. night. Uh, 
I don't think I'll sleep much. Coffee doesn't really hit me like that though. Mind. Like I don't Those stay dusty up couches like won't that. make it any easier. Hey, you okay? Is this the interrogation room? I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? Huh. You okay? Honestly? No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. You know what I'm I mean, saying, and I'm gonna stick at. to it. I don't think Tyler killed anybody, but he took the fall for something. I don't know why. Like he's covering up for I'm somebody. Glad he's probably done by now. We should go find him. Okay. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? Oh, there you go. Found it. Here. Have a seat. All right. What are you doing back there? Damn it. No. Sorry. What the? Huh. They kept this? What was that about? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Oh. Okay, okay. Where is the memory at, though? I hate when the screen sparkles, but I can't find the memory. Because you have to look for it, guys. It doesn't just pop in your face. Let me see. Can I go into the restroom? No? Okay. Because look, it's sparkling a little bit, but I can't really do anything about it. Unless, 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 unless. There it is. Okay, found it. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. I wonder what Ollie Everything's means. Everything's gonna be okay. Olivia? I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. Huh. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. Okay. Let's go talk to Mr. Brown. Let's go talk. Oh. Okay. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you, a man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I would say children of the future. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> I'm the Come future. on, bro. She stole her entire act Don't from get it me. twisted, Eddie. Everybody I'm the knows future. that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Marianne worried about something? What were her last days like? Let's talk about the first one. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for... being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. What were her last days like? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to 
that day, anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Maybe a month before. Thank you. Guess that's all we can say. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. I feel like this has just been a waste of time questioning both we of these really people. We don't really have a choice about that. Tessa and him. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? Bro, he got no, a gun, Tyler. It's fine. I would chill if I were you. I know you resent me, but Fireweed was I the best I would be on maximum chillage right now. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be <laughs> sure. I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Eddie did his best for me. Being kept apart was wrong. Yeah. Gotta stick together. <sighs> Look, Uncle. Separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that Okay, so the choices miserable. that we make either keep us closer together or further apart. Way, little moose. Cause the, it was the hard to talk to you about when I made it. that choice. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look. We've all fucked up, and we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. Isn't that creepy? It's on me. Staying the night at the old house? I wanna send you out there with empty stomach. I, I would mean, not turn that down. Whatever. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now we're slowly uncovering what happened that night. So Tyler's saying it was self-defense. So that means the mom attacked him first. Whoa! What the heck? I didn't even notice that person right there. What was that about? Yo! I was trying to talk my shit. I didn't even notice somebody was standing there like that. What in the world? Okay, that was completely random. Stop! Allison! Allison! Oh, dude, that is so creepy. What is that about? Oh, dude, that is creepy. Oh, man. Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. Yeah, it's definitely I'm not a I'm going to cut. kill you. No. Please. It was Allison. Oh! What a 
twist! What? I thought it was gonna be somebody else entirely and Tyler took the blame for it, but it was Allison! Guys, on three! One, two, three! What a twist! I killed her. I killed her. Allison, we need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're going to tell them. No, no. Yes, we look out for each other. That's what goblins do. That's what and goblins do? How do you know? Goblins aren't real. For all you know, goblins are snitches. Okay. No, but seriously, I was not expecting Allison at all. So she's the one who actually killed them all. And Tyler's the one with the most hate in his heart. Just over what he think the mom was thinking about him. Whoa. All right. Chapter one, that's it. Allison was happy that Tyler accepted Eddie's peace offering. 77% accepted the ring. 13% refused the ring. 10% threw the ring in the water. Damn, you savages. Allison was delighted to solve the princess's riddle with her brother. 85% solved the door puzzle. 15% of you guys are whack. Tyler felt unrecognized by Allison's lack of trust at the store. 54% chose Tyler's memory. 46% chose Allison's. Whoops, my bad. Tyler was reassured of his bond to Allison when she sided with him at the station. 71% sided with Tyler. 29% sided with Eddie. Forget Eddie. Tyler earned Sam's respect. 51% called out Sam and 49% didn't call out Sam. Tessa shut out the twins about Mary. 49% learned the truth. Wow. I antagonized Tessa? My bad. Eddie felt rejected by Allison when she didn't side with him at the station. And then 71% sided with Tyler. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see if there's an episode two preview. Please. Please. Yes? Yes! Okay. Because so episode now? one ended on a twist. Well, he's obviously not going to give what us the truth. Twist? So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. That's it? You kidding me? Like, you just basically took off my shirt and shot on my chest. All right, that was the end of Tell Me Why Episode 1. Let me know what you thought about this game in the comments down below. And leave a like if you guys want me to try Chapter 2 out whenever it comes out in the future. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!